What's good, y'all? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can make $20,000 every February with drop shipping and affiliate marketing focusing on Valentine's Day products. The first thing you're going to want to do is to figure out what you want to sell or promote. When I first started, I was promoting this rose beer offer from Max Bunny. I made $3,861 from sending them 143 leads. After seeing the amount of money I made in a short amount of time, I decided that going forward, I was going to start drop shipping the beers. The reason I decided to do this is because I figured that I would have at least made $9,266.40 from those same leads if I was initially drop shipping. The way I figured that is here, you can see that one beer only costs $1 on AliExpress, which is the website I would be drop shipping from. The Max Bonnie offer is paying me $27 per sale. The smallest purchase a customer can make on the affiliate offer, as you can see, is $49 for one beer and the largest is $135 for five beers. Max Bonnie didn't tell me which packages were bought when I sent them leads, but regardless, the cost would be just $1 per beer purchase and the $27 payment per lead to me. If you look at this little mat that I did right here on the screen, you can see that the average profit per sale after cost would be $64.80. Multiply that by the 143 leads I sent, and that equals $9,266.40. Also, not only did I start making more money by dropshipping the biz, but I also started making money from upselling other products. So here's some of the products I have. Of course, got the Rose Bear, right? These real popular. You probably see these all over social media every time Valentine's Day is coming around. But not only do I have these, I have these roses right here, which are actually real preserved roses. Um, box and everything and these are actually popular just like these these sell out real fast every Valentine's Day also I have these right here which is similar to the rose bear it's made out of the same material it has the same rose design all over it these also sell out real fast so it's always, it's always important to have a whole bunch of these on deck and can't forget the chocolate these this brand right here real popular I always sell out of these fast. Can't keep inventory of this right here, so I have a whole bunch of these as well. And the reason I have an inventory of this stuff right here is because I know after doing this for about three years now that I'm gonna sell about seven to eight thousand dollars worth of this stuff. And it's actually better to have it and ship it out yourself because sometimes with drop shipping, since the stuff is coming from China, it's coming from overseas, it'll take a long time to ship. It might not get to the customer in time. The customer um, and, and in turn, we'll just cancel the order or do a chargeback. So it actually makes sense to just buy the inventory and stuff if you know you're gonna sell it and just ship it out yourself. In addition to those items that I know usually sell good, I also usually add in some other products for drop shipping, like this ultrasonic skin scrubber, uh, sorted for pets for the pet lovers, and friendship bracelets for the girls getting together, Valentine's Day. And usually these random miscellaneous items that I add will make me another $8,000 to $10,000. Normally to find these products, I just browse AliExpress and see what I think would sell good. But this year I actually used ChatGPT to see what it recommended and started looking from there. ChatGPT also recommended that I list their products for singles celebrating Valentine's Day, as well as girls that are getting together as friends and for people who have pets. I felt like those were all good suggestions. So later on, when I show you the website, I'll show you how I implemented those suggestions. Now that you know which products you're selling, it's time to make your website. The first thing you need to do is to connect your domain to your web hosting. Do that, all you gotta do is open your web hosting panel. If you don't have a domain name, you could buy one right here, but I already want my name. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy the domain name, do you love me, AI.com, and I'll put it right here, click continue. Afterwards, it's gonna tell me that I need to update my name server. So you copy that name server right there and you put it right there. And then you copy the other one, you put it right there and then you click the green arrow to save. Afterwards, you click continue. Then you click manage site. And once you get to this page, what you want to click next is auto install the soul. You can install WordPress. Select WordPress, put in your website name, put in the username that you want right there, put in the password that you want right here, click next, click install. And once it's finished installing, it will take you to this page right here. So 
to open a website, you just need to click right there. It'll open up the domain name. You can see that WordPress is installed now. To go to the admin panel, you just need to click right there and put slash WP dash admin. And now you can just log in. Now you're logged into the admin panel. Now you could just activate a template and um, start setting up the products. To find a template, you could go to this website here called ThemeForest. ThemeForest, if you don't know, is probably the largest WordPress theme marketplace out there. Basically, what I would do is just look through this page here that has all these WordPress theme listed. And once I find a design I like, which is this one, I just purchase and download it. The reason I chose this design is because it looks good and it also comes with 26 different homepage design. That means to get the look I want, I can easily just import one of these demo homepages right here and then afterwards modify it to get the look I need. Once you have the theme downloaded, now you need to go ahead and upload the theme. So go to themes, add new theme, upload theme, choose file, and go ahead and select the zip folder with the theme. Click upload, click install now. Once it's installed, then click activate. And afterwards, now you're gonna need to install the plugin. So what I'm gonna do now, is I'm just going to click install on each of the required plugins. Return. Install. I'm just going to do this for every plugin that says type required. And then afterwards, I'm going to also go ahead and install WooCommerce because that's needed to actually list products and sell stuff with WordPress. After I install the plugins now, I'm going to go ahead and select each of the plugins that I just installed. And I'm going to go ahead and activate them. So select, 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 select WooCommerce and click activate and then click apply. Now I'm going to go ahead and go to tools click demo importer and now I'm going to just browse through this page and see which one of the home pages design I want to use I'm going to go ahead and go with demo 5 furnish a demo 5 click import ok and then now it's installing the design Okay, so once the design is finished being imported, now you can actually go to the home page. And if you check, you will see that the design is now the selected design that you've imported. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna switch out the logo with the logo I had created. I'm also gonna add in the product categories and switch out the products with the products that I'm actually selling. So I'm gonna do that now, and then I'm gonna come back and show you guys how the website looks afterwards. Are you serious? Are you kidding me? What's the deal? Oh no, no. All right, y'all, so I went ahead and modified the design and this right here is the results. You can see I swapped out the logo with my logo. I changed the section header font to a cursor font and I also made it pink to match the logo. Then right here, I added a little introduction, basically welcoming the customers. Below that, you can see I have my product sections, which is sweets, gift, galentines, which has products for girls getting together. That was recommended by ChatGPT. And below that, I have gifts 
section for pets, another section recommended by ChatGPT. Once your website is set up and ready to go, it's time to market it. The main way that I would market is with influencers. If y'all don't know, I've been doing influencer marketing for years and I own a network called Epic Revenue. Before it was called that, it was actually named Influencers Reach and I used to only allow influencers to join and promote. Since I own a network and I got a good relationship with a couple influencers, all I need to do is just shoot them a message telling them to do a post for me. And basically, majority of them would just do it as a favor like her and i'll start earning if they want to earn some money then they know they can just go to epic revenue grab the affiliate link and they'll get paid for each sale through their link for other random influencers who i'm not locked in with usually i just send them a message get their prices maybe go back and forth and negotiate a little bit then afterwards i'll give them a coupon code or a link so i could track their sales to do this, you can use this WordPress plugin called Coupon Affiliates. It costs $16 a month, which is fine because I'm only using it for the weeks leading up to Valentine's Day. The reason you want to use a plugin like this is because you need to know if it's worth it to keep paying the influencer to promote. A lot of these influencers have fake followers and fake engagement, which means you will pay them for a promo and end up making nothing in return. The second way I promote is with TikTok and Instagram. So I went ahead and created a TikTok and also Instagram. From there, all I do is post a bunch of product photos and videos on each page. Then I went ahead and bought 20,000 followers for each page along with likes for each post on the pages. The reason I do this is to make the business look big and trustworthy. From there, what I do next is just boost some of the posts from both pages. Boosting works the same on TikTok as it does Instagram. When I'm boosting the posts, I set my total budget for all the posts I'm boosting as my average product price. In my case, that's $35 and then I let it run for three days the reason for doing this is just to get data and it's a safe bet that if you spend that amount you will at least get one sale which will cover initial advertising costs from there you could just retarget your ads which basically means to advertise to whoever is engaging the most with your ads so for example if you see that the majority of people who's engaging with your ad is men in this age range then you would just pause the current ad and make a new one focusing on men in that age range. Now that we got marketing covered, let's go over costs. When drop shipping, you don't need inventory. I only have an inventory of this stuff here because I know I'm gonna sell it from past experience. Usually whatever you're selling comes right from the manufacturer, so there's no inventory cost. The customer pays you, then you order it. With that being said, you will have a domain name cost. For me, that was $11 from Namecheap. Web hosting cost, which on average is $4.99 to $9.99. For me, that was $0 since I already had hosting to pay for up until 2025 from another website, which I recommend doing because the 24 to 48 month plan is heavily discounted. And last, a WordPress theme, which can be free and go up to $69.99 for a decent one. For me, I'm using the every WordPress theme, which I already paid for from using it on another site. So my theme cost is zero. If you like the video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell and just tune in.